second reason the third reason I'm telling you you listen very carefully and absorb this because this thing is going to come one more time or probably two three more times in the course this structure actually exists like this this is a hydrogen bond the enolic, enolic form exists like this this is the in, uh, this is the hydrogen bond shown by dotted lines this is not a pure covalent bond but still hydrogen bond is the strongest among all other bonds other than covalent bonds like van der Waal force of attraction coulombic force of attraction whatever attraction there is hydrogen bond is strongest among them and for that reason it exists like a six member ring and six member ring is highly stable because there is no angle strain in six member ring so uh, this exists like this and there's a hydrogen bond formation so the third reason why enol must be more stable because of hydrogen bond the fourth thing that we can see in here is there's a ring formation there's a chelation if you are done with uh, uh, the chapter in or inorganic chemistry which is coordination compound if you have already studied it in in case you have not then probably you will study it in that chapter you are familiarized you are made familiarized with this term chelation chelation simply means ring formation chelation here the, here there's chelation that means there here there's a ring formation previously you didn't have ring when you have enol formation you have a ring via hydrogen bonding so whenever you have a ring formation like this then you have some amount of stability provided to the substrate now how is this why is this we'll see later and that's something which comes in coordination compound but for the time being get clinched with this fact that when you have a ring formation you have a stability provided to the substrate so the fourth factor why it should be more stable is chelation all these factors added together provides to the uh, results in the high percentage of enol content so look uh, it's th the thing is we are looking for stability whatever is stable that will be formed in higher content the reason why we say keto is dominant it's m about 99% is because c double bond is very stable in the enol we don't have any factor for stability but if we have some factors in the enol content enol form which provides stability then obviously the percentage of enol will increase like here we have acidic hydrogen if you have a very very acidic hydrogen then the rds will be crossed very easily if you have hydrogen bonding some uh, extra bond is formed here some amount of energy will be released that will provide to the stability if you have chelation if you have ring formation some amount of fact some amount of stability will be added from there plus this enol is in conjugation with c double bond o so there has to be some factor that provides stability to enol form so this concept you must have you must know what are the common factors that you have to deal with in your course that provides stability to, to stability to the substrates after studying like whole of the organic you can count them on fingers it would be maximum at max of 15 factors that you have to play around with the whole course and it becomes very easy really the syllabus the concept the theory as such to study is very less once you get acquainted once you get familiar with them then things seems to be very easy you will see that same thing same factors same factors are operating in all the problems in all the conversions in all the reactions so like things seems to be very easy once you give the investment once you study those factors uh, and you get cleansed with them so uh, that's the reason why enol is very high because of these factors let's move on then